How long do the teaching credentials usually last? So guess what you now guess what you now have. You now have an opportunity to go do some research on that career choice. Yeah, that's those that that, that I think we've talked about that I, the three resumes. Oh yeah, yeah. To, to like three jobs that you're looking into. Yeah, and th- I would I would probably do four resumes in this case if I were you, Steve. I'm not joking about this. Yeah. I would prepare a resume being a waiter for a few years and come up with another tra- career trajectory that pays well that, that I could do for minimum training and make enough to support a family. So maybe that's what an example of this is police officer. I, w- I don't want to be a police officer. I have no interest in that. Mm-hmm. But from the standpoint of taking care of a family, decent okay. money, right? Firefighter, real estate agent. Those are all uh, uh, construction tech that's a hard, that's hard on my body. I would be a little bit careful about that. Cause the older guys, like you look at all those older guys and they're like <laughs> cracking. Right. But those are all jobs that I could with a two year degree in training, I could get those jobs pretty quickly, even with another type of degree. Right. Mm-hmm. So if I was preparing these in your situation, I would identify in the worst case scenario that I didn't even get my bachelor's degree or that I got a bachelor's degree and I didn't somehow go into teaching what is a backup option that takes a minimum amount of training and has a relatively good pay job? And then I could, I wouldn't be like super excited about it, but I could fucking do it to have the type of life that I needed. Right. Yeah. Nursing would be another one that I would look into. Mm-hmm. Nursing's a little harder because you got to take chemistry classes and stuff like that. Right. I already got all the chemistry classes. under the so. Yeah. Nursing pays pretty well. It's a hard job, but it pays yeah. fucking well. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that would be option one. Option two, I would look into, like I'd actually prepare myself for f- all, the, all the stuff associated with getting a high school teaching credential. What does that look like? What are the questions that need to be asked? Where would I go? Where would I want to end? What is, can I get the pay scale at the type of school that I would want to work at? Option three. Uh, community college. Yeah, community college, which requires a master's degree. And maybe one of those master's degrees is I pay out of pocket. So instead of going for a PhD, I just go to apply and I do it on loans, maybe. I don't know. Option four, apply for a PhD program, figure out if I can drop out with a master's degree, do it that way. Option five, apply for the PhD program, get my master's degree, get teaching experience and finish my PhD. Wait, get your master's degree. And then finish my PhD. Like later on or during, or getting the master's during the PhD? During the PhD program, okay. right? Okay. And that, you know, the one of the major questions I hear you asking right now is, I don't hear you asking it like this, but can I make money while I'm in my PhD program enough to support a family? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. But I wouldn't worry about that right now. That's a larger question. Right now you're trying to navigate, you're, you're on a smaller level, right? Which is, or a, a lower level, right? Which is you're trying to figure out what the path forward is. But those five options, do you notice anything in your, here, here's a question for you. When you hear those five options, what changes in your mind? Um, I mean, there's just options in general. Yeah. It's not like a a guaranteed path to do the PhD. So like, yeah, I just have more options, so. Yeah, explore all of them. Don't, and don't worry for a minute about whose life is this? Is it my life? Is it Henry's life? It's mine. Yeah, the reason that I want you to explore the PhD is because you're having to answer like, let me ask you this. How many questions have you asked yourself because of the reading that you did on that program? Uh, a lot. Right? That's the point. The point is not like commit to your PhD and do nothing else and like make sure, <laughs> make sure to like make us proud. No, there's nothing to fucking do with that, right? Mm-hmm. The point is the PhD, there are many benefits that come from that. So let's explore those benefits. But while you're doing it, as those questions come up, track them. Like I would track those different and then like make a study of each of those things so that you have those options. And, you, you know, if things go well, you take one option. If things don't go well, you have the other option. And you're constantly, every single day, you're doing something 
to make yourself more competitive, you know, use that motivation, use that fucking light that you, that you showed us earlier today. Right. And like really suss them out. Don't like, you know, create a file that says high school teaching credential, <laughs> create a file that says mass, you know, uh, self-funded master's degree, create a file that says, PhD, you know, 